Listen, sire, and I will tell you of the beginning of time, when the universe was one peaceful dream swirling and floating through eternity. That was before the coming of the Great Explosion, an explosion that blew the universe apart. Scattering trillions and trillions of galaxies, nebula, black holes, quasars, and of course certain oddities. Oddities? Yes, such as the Omega Comet. It looks like a comet, but it acts like a black hole, destroying everything within its range. Long ago, Voltron removed the comet, hiding it in a far corner of the universe where it could do no harm. No one has ever been able to discover where Voltron put it. Why do you waste my time, you old windbag? Every child on Planet Doom knows this story, and it's just that, a story. There never was any Omega Comet. You're wrong, Zarkon. I have found it. Of course, if you're not interested. Don't toy with me, witch. Where is it? It's out there in Sector G-29. It's a perfect weapon to destroy the planet Eris. <laughs> Eris, huh? Bring Princess Romel. Yes, sir. Now, why don't we send a ship to retrieve this Omega Comet? It's already on its way. Robot Commander to Planet Doom. I've sighted the comet and am in pursuit. Ah, wait! I am being bombarded by Gravitons. They're pulling me toward the comet. The ship is being destroyed. Of course it is! That's the whole idea! <laughs> You've destroyed one of our best starships. Take it easy, Zarkon! Easy! <laughs> We had to sacrifice that ship to get the rings to the surface of the comet. Those rings will allow you, King Zarkon, to take control of the deadliest weapon in the universe by surrounding it with my favorite substance. Nuclear radiation. Ah, Princess Romel, you're just in time. We're planning a maneuver which I'm sure you'll want to watch. Right, Hagar? That's right. I'm sure you've heard of the Omega Comet. As you can see, we've found it. Lovely, isn't it? But I'm afraid we're going to have to knock it off course. Don't worry, it's not coming this way. It's going in the opposite direction. Toward a distant little planet called Eris. When it comes within one million hectares of Eris, its gravitons will reach the surface, pulling up everything. We mustn't do this, Lotor. You have no <laughs> right to destroy Eris. My power gives me the right, Princess. I'll find a way to stop you, Prince Lotor. I swear it. My dear, you may be a princess on your planet, but here you're just a slave. There's nothing you can do. Laura, warn the Voltron Force. Zarkon has sent the Omega Comet toward Eris. That's Princess Romel. She's trying to warn us. Where are you? I snuck into the transmitter room. Oh no, they're coming for me. Voltron must save Eris from the Omega Comet. Oh, Romel! I'm sorry. I know she's your friend. If she risked her life to warn us, we must be in grave danger. The gravest we've ever faced. For the Omega Comet is the deadliest of all weapons. It can destroy buildings and pull them up into the sky. Bridges, mountains, and every human on Eris will be sucked up into a vortex of doom. Voltron faced this menace once before. He won only when he discovered a highly secret attack plan. But Koran, you have a record of the plan, don't you? No. It was lost when Voltron was divided. What? 
then we'll have to discover the secret attack plan ourselves, and the sooner we get started, the better. Remember, we're not exactly amateurs. We're the Voltron Force. What do you say, team? I say let's quit talking and start doing. You can count me in. Me too, let's go. I'm afraid it will do no good. We must prepare for the end. You can start by telling those right here in the castle. No, Koran, you're too negative. We'll find the secret attack plan again. Voltron found it before, didn't he? It took 10 years. We'll just have to work quicker. Let's go, team. All right, insert keys. Ready to form Voltron. Activate interlock. Dynatherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's go, Voltron Force! And I'll form the head. Voltron will be back after these messages. Now, back to Voltron. Defender of the Universe. Princess Rommel broke into the transmitter room and has alerted Voltron. Now he's on his way to the Omega Comet. Don't worry. If she's so anxious to help them out, I'm sure we can find a way to use that to our advantage. Right, Hagar? <laughs> We're approaching the Omega Comet. Any closer and it'll grab us. But we can't see anything from way up here. We're too far away. Hedge is right. If we wanted to play it safe, we could have stayed at home. Let's move close. We'll just have to trust our graviton neutralizers. All right, team. Everyone brace yourselves for a big shock. Trying, but the gravitation neutralizers won't come on. All right, we're working now. We're leveling out. I can see the Omega Comet. Wow! Those rings are what's making it move. And look, there's a wrecked spaceship from Zarkon's fleet. Heath, what about the secret attack plan? I don't know. I'm looking for something that might be a clue, but I can't find anything. We don't have time to play detective, Keith. I say we blast it and try to knock it off course, away from planet Aris. Maybe you're right. I know I'm right. Let's do it. OK, team, let's show them what we've got. Ignite lion torches. Fire stingray missiles. Pour it on. It's not working! This comet won't budge! Yes, they didn't find the secret attack lab! Hmm, if they only knew the right setting. If they put their power crystal on a four sector setting, they could defeat us! That's the secret attack plan! Without it, they're doomed! Yes, they'll soon use up their power. Then Voltron will be completely helpless. Am I right? Yes, Prince Lotor. He won't have a chance, Will. Voltron, listen to me. Put the power crystal on a four-sector setting. That's the secret attack plan. Huh? 
If you keep shooting, you'll use up your power. Use the crystal. That doesn't sound like an attack plan. It's just a power setting. It doesn't make sense to me either, but there must be some explanation. Princess Romel wouldn't lie to us. We gotta try it. Fire up power crystal. All four sectors are activated. All right, move in toward the surface of the planet. Something's wrong. It's pulling us. I can't hold it. We're going to crash land, and there isn't any way to stop it. We've been betrayed! Can't be. Oh. But it is. You told them exactly what we wanted you to tell them. Thanks to you, Voltron is utterly defeated. You've been very useful, Princess. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, no. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. <laughs> oh, my pretty little slave, look what you've done. With friends like you, Voltron doesn't need enemies. We're getting out of here, Prano. Can you reach the controls? Barely! Yeah! Uh -huh. yeah. Alright, let's get off this four sector setting and back to normal power. Reset the power crystal. That's better. We're up to full power. Good. Let's get off this ugly comet. Alright! Right. We got it, team! We're lifting off! The gravitons are too strong! Ah! If we don't get off here, the gravity will crush us. Ah! We're completely out of regular power, but I think we can still tap into our booster supply, can't we? What good would that do? If our regular power wasn't enough, our booster supply can't possibly help. We gotta try! Lock in boosters! <laughs> Isn't he Pitiful, and we owe it all to Princess Romel, who betrayed her friends and sentenced the planet Eris to a miserable end. <laughs> yes, Prince Lotor, even now, Eris is being wracked by disaster. For the Omega Comet is drawing nearer and nearer. Everything on the planet's surface and under the surface is being drawn up toward the comet! I've already contacted the Alliance, but I'm afraid I know what their answer will be. Who are you? I asked for a Starfleet commander, not some minor functionary. We're in great danger here. I told them that at Galaxy Garrison. I'm sorry, but all of the Starfleet commanders are pinned down by Zarkon's forces. Voltron is in imminent danger now. There's nothing we can do about it. Are you telling me there isn't one Starfleet that's not engaged in combat? There's one guarding our main power supply. It must not be moved. 
We'll risk your power supply, don't you understand? They've got the Omega Comet. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. You've done a good job, old witch. You know, your father doesn't appreciate me as much as you do. And with Voltron out of the way, I could put you on the throne, Lotor. You could be even more powerful than Zarkon ever was, with my help. You speak too soon, old witch. After all, you've only trapped Voltron. You haven't destroyed him. I'll remedy that right now, Prince Lotor. You destroy Voltron. Then we'll talk about the throne. Oh, Voltron. Voltron will perish! Now! <sighs> no! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now let's bid a fun farewell to Voltron, huh? I left this little device planted on the pursuit ship. It's called an Iron Ripper, but you can just think of it as a metal muncher with sharp teeth. And a very large appetite! <laughs> oh, look what's coming! Uh, can't we do something about it? No, we're completely helpless. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. We've got to hold on! For what? It'd take a whole Starfleet to save us now! It is a Starfleet! Ah. Hm. Look what the Alliance sent off! It's my brother's fleet, Prince Bandor! He saved Voltron! Ah. I'll crush them. I'll squash them like insects. Who are you? Whoever you are, you got here just in time to save us. Were you sent by the Alliance? Yes, at Koran's request. I'm Prince Bandor, commander of Starfleet 11. We have left the main power supply unguarded to come here so we can't stay long. How can we get you guys off of there? Don't worry about us. You've got to save Eris. You must finish the work we started. Blow this comet off course. <gasps> Do you realize what you're saying? We have to hit this comet with everything we've got. A whole Starfleet opening up with every laser in its arsenal. Don't you see? You'd be right in the middle of it with no protection at all. You must understand, if you survived, it'd be more than a miracle. We understand, and we're prepared for the sacrifice. I'm with you, Keith. Me too. You've been a great bunch of guys to team up with. You too, Princess. Thank you, Hunk. I'll miss you all. I can't... I can't do it! You must, Bandor. We're counting on you. Why does this have to happen to good people? Just remember us, Bandor. Someday you will tell your grandchildren about the Voltron Force, who always fought for justice. I'll do it, but I swear Zarkon's gonna pay!
So this is what it feels I like. I feel so peaceful, like I'm floating. Everything seems so far away. It's like a beautiful afternoon nap. So calm. Wait a minute, I hear something. It sounds like the beating of my own heart. Am I still alive? Ugh, but I'm so tired. No matter how difficult it is, we must somehow carry on. Our people need us more than ever, for with Voltron gone, Zarkon is sure to revenge himself upon planet Eris. They kidnapped my sister! Now they've destroyed Voltron! But I swear I'll make them pay! Come and try it, strange one! Sir, what? The Omega Comet has changed course! I know that, you imbecile! What makes you think I care about some stupid comet? Get out! <laughs> My brother will save me! Don't make me laugh. I'll crush your brother's fleet and then planet Eris and the entire Alliance! With Voltron out of the way, there's nothing to stop my fleet of doom! Are the members of the Voltron Force really finished? Or are they in a deep sleep waiting to be reawakened? Is Voltron stuck forever on the surface of the Omega Comet? Or will this sleeping giant rise again to take his rightful place as the mighty champion of justice? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Voltron, Defender of the Universe. <laughs>